what up okay you guys who is ready to make a cold cup cold cup cold cup i'm gonna do this cool cheetah design can y'all see it okay we're gonna make this cool cheetah design cold cup with a name on it can you see the name perfect and i'm also going to link in the description box the cheetah print svg and png free download so that way y'all can download this if you like it also you can click on that website they have a, like i don't know eight pages of free downloads and if there's anything you like on there feel free to use it, it has a bunch of cold cup designs and like even the starbucks ones this is not a Starbucks one. This was one I got at Michael's. They had them on sale for 50% off. It is color changing though, so I thought that was pretty cool. And it was literally like $2, so why not give it a try, right? I don't know. As crafters, let me know in the comments down below. I've joined like crafting groups on Facebook. And I'm like, ooh, that looks like fun. Ooh, that looks like fun. Ooh, that looks like fun. And now here I am with a cold cup and I'm actually going to drink out of this even though I usually only drink out of my water bottles. I'm gonna start drinking out of this cute little cold cup that I made. Um, so yeah, stay tuned and get ready to make a cute little drinking wear cup. All right, glad you guys are back for another video. Okay, I feel like this point in the game, you guys already know, download it, um, upload it, put your name in, choose whichever font you want. I ended up using a font that I got from dafont.com, hello honey, just because I thought I wanted the heart on there, actually big mistake. Take. here I am just attaching all of the letters I like to make the word really large before I attach the letters and then I go on ahead if you're trying to get the heart letters in and you can't figure it out what you have to do is go into your font book on your computer and then you copy the letter you want and then you paste it into um, Cricut Design Space. If you guys need more help with how to do that or a tutorial, let me know. Otherwise, yeah, you do that. You connect it, um, group it, make it the size that you want. The one thing I did not do that if you want to be able to just use that design right away, see how mine is just wherever it is make sure that you attach the cheetah print design if you want it to stay in in the cup design also make sure you check my description box because i am going to link down below the cheetah print svg and um, png image and it is free to download sale um it's usually priced $4.99 it was 50% off so I got it for $2.50 it is a color changing cup so once you put something cold in there it's gonna turn blue purple I don't know why I said blue um it's gonna turn purple it's bpa free top rack dishwasher safe do not microwave for cold beverages only also random I don't know if I can we can put it in the dishwasher once I put the permanent vinyl on I guess we'll see. Okay, our color choices are, we have the pink, the white, or the blue. And I'm kind of, this isn't really white, it's like a cream. I think I'm leaning towards the blue. There's more tape, more tape, always more tape. It's like Cricut, calm down. Okay, I feel like blue, and then, what do you guys think? I don't know. This should be a lie, because if it was a lie, we could talk about it. Or you think I should just do the pink on pink, baby on baby. what pink's my favorite color why not have at it okay let's put the pink on i had pulled this little thing but clearly that is not going to be big enough so 
I also have this pink, but it's not really like the shimmery kind. So I feel like, what, what do y'all think? I think I got this one because it matched the lid. Shimmer or this now that I just, this is how indecisive I am, you guys. So it's like, <laughs> now that I just did that to get all of these shimmery ones out. What do you guys think? I feel like shimmer would be cool, but at the same time, I won't have to cut this. All right, let's do this one. It's our first time. I usually be messing up anyway. So let's do this. Let's see how it comes out. So now I can pull that other one back out. Huh, why am I like this? Hey. Okay. <clears throat> so y'all already know. First rule of how oh, you can't even see it. Please. Yeah, hold. you guys already know. When you go take your Cricut paper off, you want to fold your mat away from the vinyl and not the other way around. So that is the correct way to take your vinyl off of your um whatever those things are called. <clears throat> okay, what I like to do, y'all already know. is come over and these are my last two right there so then i'm just gonna make a little see which line it's closest to Oops. okay so i made a little fold and if you can see that's the line right here so then i'm gonna put this under here Put it where the line is folded. And then press and dry. Also, I'm now using Oracle paper. I know I started with Cricut, but when I went to Michael's and they had that cell, I also got this Oracle paper. So that's what this one is. Um, but it's the 650 um, one, which is also permanent. Perfect. And then what I like to do is I'm going to take my little squeegee. I need to get a large squeegee. But you guys know, like I say, just make do with what you got. And if you don't have one of these, you can literally use maybe a credit card. All it is is a little flat surface. And then all this is is little cheat or leopard prints and the name. So I should be good to simply pull the vinyl off. And also that's a way to know if you need to replace your blade or not. If you go to pull your vinyl off and your vinyl isn't just coming off then that means you probably need to replace your blade. And this is like little holes in the middle, so that's why it's getting a little caught, but it shouldn't ever be where it's like getting to the point where you're like, okay, I'm gonna have to, um, you know, like do some other type of weeding. Okay, is it just me or is this like so satisfying when the vinyl comes. Oh, see how that pulled this off? Darn it. And sometimes that will happen, guys. Don't worry. So all I'm going to do is take it and just kind of
Oh my gosh, do you guys want to realize what I just... <laughs> I told you guys I'd be making mistakes. I just realized I didn't attach this, so it didn't even go to the size of the cup. Which is, okay, whatever. And then I'm going to just weed out the middle. To be honest, I'm kind of liking this oracle paper better than the Cricut paper. That's just between us, right? It's like weeding so easily. Oopsie daisy. Don't be like me and don't do that. Okay. And then if you look inside of here, there's some more that need weeding. So here. 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 Okay. And since I just messed that up, I'm gonna see if I can just pull it, put it back on here. And then I'm just going to take the top off because I don't really need it on there. And then you guys know that the alcohol is the holy grail in the crafting world. Y'all know this is also one of my favorite tools. <sighs> All right, you guys. I think that my transfer tape is strong grip, which is not good right now. Okay. All right, y'all. Trying to see if I can salvage the heart. If I can't, it's okay. I'll just cut it off. But if I can, that would be my preference. Okay. At first I was going to take these off and like reprint it, but y'all know what? I'm going to uh, just see. I do have a little bit remaining of not strong grip. I don't know if I, I don't even know which one this was. 
No, nope, this wasn't even strong grip, y'all. I thought it was. It was just the regular transfer tape. So I know this top. Mm, To reprint it, it needs to go all the way to the seven, but this is only gonna go to the five. So, let's see what else we got. In hindsight, I would say do not put the line of tape across the bottom because it just makes it more work for you. And then when you go to take your Mod Podge, like when you take it off after you add Mod Podge, it just makes a mess right there anyway. So I would just not put the tape on there. All right, you guys, so I added about three layers to this. And so if you can see it, it's still, it's super shiny. Um, yeah, but it feels like it needs uh, 28 hours to dry completely. So it's not tacky or anything, 28 hours, 28 days. You heard that right, days. So if you're gonna be selling these, make sure to get your little flock going ahead of time. Um, you can always send them out, I suppose, but it won't be fully cured, cured until 28 days later. Um, I'm gonna pull the tape off. Uh-oh, bad news. I probably should have pulled the tape off a little bit earlier. Because... Whoopsie daisy. Oh wow. Well. You live and you learn. Okay, look what I just did, y'all. Can you even see? Um because it had cured, I think, to the tape. So now I'm gonna do one more layer. Haha, <laughs> just joking about being done. It's okay though, luckily it's at the top, top, tippity top where no one can see. But real quick, let's just throw some more up here. What is on my foot? onesie thing. Okay. Yep, 
Y'all, you don't even know this, but it's 11.16 where I live. I'm tired. I should start on these videos earlier, but I'm gonna be honest with you. I took a nap. I needed that nap. It felt good. But now I'm like, should we take that nap, girl? Okay. So really quickly, I'm just going to apply some Podgy Maji up here. And it didn't do it everywhere, just certain places. So let that be a reminder to you. I need to Google if Mod Podge is toxic or not. Because you may not even need to do that tape step if Mod Podge isn't toxic. But also if it's fairly fully cured in 28 days. Also it's probably fine if you just wait the full 28 days to use it. Okay. But y'all know me. Well, okay, that's a bummer. I have to close this out because there's no way I'm going to stay up even more. I'm sorry guys. But before I do, I am going to get some footage putting water in it so we can see it turn purple. And then I'll probably just come back on camera tomorrow without my face. And I'll just show y'all what it ended up looking like. Okay? What do you guys think? Does that sound like a deal? Deal, deal, dollar schmeal? Have y'all even made any of the cold cups? Whether it's the Starbucks ones or any other ones? Let me know, I'm interested. This is my first cold cup I've ever made. I don't really usually drink from cold cups. I usually just drink from my water bottle. Is that a terrible thing to say out loud? Okay. I think it should be okay. Because earlier this happened on one of the cheetah prints. I messed it up a little bit too. Okay. So I'm not going to put the lid on just yet. But I am going to go and put some cold water in here. So that way y'all can see it color change. Alright, let's do this thing. Do you see it changing? I see it. It's getting purple down here and then it's still light up here. See that? That's what I was talking about when I pulled the tape off. So I'll come back on and show you guys if my little hack of re-glossing it worked or not. Yay! I'm pumped you guys. Another successful craft. 